Wednesday, December 19th, we got the Frisco Bowl. It's in Frisco, Texas, 7 p.m., ESPN, Ohio, and San Diego State. It's kind of a fun matchup. Two old guys. I was about to say, yeah, I, I, I Rocky guess. Rocky Long is like 66 years old. Frank Solich is 73, right? Yeah, Maybe 74. He's, he's up there. Ohio, 8-4 and four this year, 7-5 and five against the spread. San Diego State, 7-5 and five and 3-9 and nine against the spread. And by God, I didn't put the last four against the spread on this one, so we're just going to have to guess. Uh, San Diego State actually did pretty good towards the end of the season, um, at, at least when it came to big-time matchups, right? So Fresno State, like they lost it, but they covered the spread. Uh, the opening line here, Ohio minus three, and the point total 54, that has stayed. That, that has stuck. Kind of makes sense. The metrics favor Ohio minus 5.85, so almost six points. And the point total, 55. So right over that 54 line. Um, offensive yards per play, Ohio, complete opposite ends of the spectrum. On offense, they are number nine in the country, averaging right. 6.98 yards per play. But on defense, they give up 6.18. <laughs> and that is good for 105th in the country. San Diego State, the exact opposite. 5.51 offensive yards per play, good for 81st in the country. On defense, though, they are number 27, giving up 4.97 um, you know, it, look, San Diego State cannot score. They're number 112 in the country, 22.3 points per game. Ohio puts up 41.2. They are number 10 in the country. But San Diego State plays defense. I mean, they, they are 21.8 points per game. They're good for number 29. Ohio gives up 26.7. That's 62 in the country. Um, Rarely do we get a matchup that's – Best on best, worst on worst like this. Yeah, it's it's strange. San Diego State, minus three in turnover margin. Ohio, plus 13. Uh, strength of schedule, Ohio is 109. San Diego State, 75. But I, I think that Ohio's triple option, there's just not a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. I like Solich. Bowl games tend to matter to him. Uh, remember, they came out and absolutely walloped UAB in, right. the, uh, in the Bahamas Bowl last year. And UEB had a pretty good defense. I was about to say, that was a, that was a really I, good team. I think San Diego State, after losing their starting running back in the middle of the year, their starting quarterback middle of the year, they are finally like, okay, we're just done with this, and, and you're going to make us go from California out to Frisco, Texas. Yep. We don't care. We But Frank Solich, he loves these kind of spots. I'm rolling Ohio minus three here, and I'm going to go – I'm going to go under the 54, I think. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. And it's the reason is I think great offenses find ways to score on great defenses. But sometimes bad offenses, even when you're playing a bad defense, you can't score. Yeah, it's it's just sometimes it's just tough, right? You, yeah, you are just you just don't have the dudes for it. So San Diego um, State likes to keep low-scoring games and whatnot. So they their unders have hit a lot this year. Um, and I don't think that changes, but I do think that Ohio can cover three. That's right. So let's uh, let's move on from that one. 